Yes. In addition to Youth Day tomorrow, we are also gearing up for Father's Day, Day on Sunday. You can see how excited we are. <laughs> oh, I know. It's going to be the first one for many new fathers out there, and this includes South African fast bowler, all-rounder, and just a great guy, cricketer Wayne Parnell, who alongside with his gorgeous wife, leading style blogger Aisha Baker, have recently welcomed their bouncing baby boy Khalid into the world. And he joins us this morning um, to feel like he's getting the morning <laughs> off but from a full-time gig. Dude, Wayne, can I welcome, just say, my brother. <laughs> welcome to the dad club, man. Thank you. Dude, I'm, I'm, we've shaken hands about three times know, this morning, yeah. man. I, I feel you, man. I feel you. How are you doing, bro? Yeah, good. Um, it's obviously something really special. It's um, been a very exciting time in our in our lives and he's actually one month today yeah Yay, congratulations yeah. thanks yeah so it's it's just been something very very special dude you look good you don't look tired you know it's like <laughs> it's hey, the makeup this is, right? this is my normal time to actually wake <laughs> yeah, up yeah exactly <laughs> i've got to ask you though i mean in terms of the preparation before becoming a dad i mean you're a national cricketer you're used to intense work pressure preparation could you at all prepare for this new journey that you were embarking on a month ago? Absolutely not. But um, <laughs> I was actually having this discussion with a friend of mine. And, um, you know, if you, if you have awkward jobs where you have to wake up at awkward times and, you know, things like that, um, it, it equips you a little bit better. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. I think you're, just, you're used to ma making those changes and being adaptable. What's been the biggest surprise? Have you had those moments where you're like, wow, I can't believe this is playing out? Well... I thought like a newborn just basically eats, poops, and sleeps. Um, but this little guy, he has a life of his, of his own, and it, it just seems that like during the day he he does the sleeping part, and at night he just wants to be awake. Why? Is that, that's also the thing, man. It's, yeah, yeah, it's like some, it's like it's like can't you sleep during the night? It, it would be far too easy. Yeah, the day. Yeah. It, it would, but otherwise, how's the little man doing? Is he is, yeah. he is he well? Is he healthy? Yes. Yeah. Very healthy. Um, beautiful little boy. He's got lots of hair. <laughs> um, that was the first one. I was like, what was this dude going on? Don't, don't get too, yeah. too, too, too attached. Um, my father-in-law actually said the same thing. He was like, when, when he was born, he had like this massive yeah. head of hair. And by the time he was 19 or 20, he actually started getting bald. So I'm actually worried for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be mad. But to get a little bit deep, I know that you, yeah. you guys have got a beautiful relationship with Aisha as well. And from your point, I mean, how important is it for you to be there for, for not only uh, Aisha, but for your little boy as well, from a father point, from a father perspective? I think, yeah, obviously, like, when, when we got married, I was like, right, we're going to have kids. Yeah. Um, but Aisha actually spoke me out of it, and her reasoning was that we should work on our marriage first. We should be married first. Um, we should build that um, to some sort of level and then think about kids. And I think it's actually very important because... Once the baby comes, you're so busy with that particular human being yeah. that you can neglect you the other party. Other, yeah. I mean, the wife can neglect the, the husband yeah. and, you know, vice versa. So yeah. it is important to still maintain that relationship and, you know, try every day to find two minutes here and there just to remind each other about that. Absolutely. I think it, it does help that you get to see the best in each other as well. I mean, marveling at a new mom is something... Mm. Just amazing, and it looks like she's absolutely smashing that. We've got another young man in the midst here. Cat is obviously literally <laughs> yeah, <soon>. countdown <laughs> has begun. As someone who's in the thick of it right now, any advice for him? I think Cat will be fine. Cat um, looks like <laughs> someone that's, that's also very hands-on. Yeah. I think for for me that's really helped me because I really love kids. Um, so being hands-on and you know changing diapers at mm. 3 a.m. In, in the morning um, is something that I actually really enjoy. I, I never thought I would. Yeah. Because um, I've got a lot of nieces and, and nephews, and I think over the last 10 years, I haven't changed one diaper. And over the last four weeks or months, I've changed probably about 50. <laughs> I, I never even held a baby before my own. <laughs> it's, it's crazy because you want to... But I need to ask you this. Maybe this... I mean, he's only a month old now. Um, how has Khalid's arrival changed you or maybe changed your outlook on, on your own life? And, and what are some of those things that you are really looking forward to in terms of, you know, being a father? I think, firstly, I've, I've learned that I've got immense patience um, I, I really didn't think that I could handle so much um, so with me learning about him I've actually learned a lot about myself as well um, and I'm obviously really excited to see him go through all of these phases now and I'm a little bit sad at, at the same time because cricket season's coming up soon mm. and I'm gonna have to go away and stuff and I'm gonna miss a lot of, of that and I've spoken to dads who also play yeah. cricket obviously and you know, that's one thing that they really dread is when they have to go away for maybe a month or two months and they come back and 
the kid has you know com completely changed. Yeah, sure. Just need a, you just quickly. need to convert a baby carrier. <laughs> yeah, and can just free up that one arm, it man. Long, um, yeah. it, it's been so awesome connecting with you again, dude. And congratulations. Yeah. Um, you were already loved. Now we love you even more, <laughs> dude. You, you absolutely um, really are nailing fatherhood. So enjoy Father's Day. Your first on first Sunday, one, my yeah. man. Cool. Thanks a lot.